getting outdoors is important this summer, but that means a greater risk of tick exposure. Experts are already getting reports of a surging tick population. NBC 5's Jackie Pascal joins us live in Richmond. And Jackie, how can we protect ourselves from bites here? Yeah, so we still have two months left of summer, which means lots of warm days and ticks. They love those warm days. They are out to play right now. So here's what you can do. The most common one that you're going to see popping up is the black legged tick. And now that one is the one that spreads Lyme disease and over 99% of other tick borne diseases reported in Vermont. And these ticks, they can be as small as poppy seeds. So here are some tips to help avoid them. Use an approved tick repellent on your body and wear long clothing that covers your skin. It's better if it's light colored so you can easily spot one of them on you. You can also apply uh, permethrin to your clothes. This is a common insecticide, and you should be checking yourself daily after spending any time outdoors. Vermont's Tick-Borne Disease Program Chief Bradley Tompkins says we are right in the middle of tick season. Um, so far this year, we're tracking um, for less cases than we had last year, but last year was a record number for us in Vermont. So um, even if we have less this year, it's still a lot of people are getting sick. If you are bitten, there's more to look for than that classic bullseye rash that doesn't affect everyone. Uh, so you should talk to your doctor if you're seeing symptoms like fever, muscle aches, fatigue, and joint pain. Now later we're going to be talking with a state entomologist. She's basically Vermont's expert on insects, especially mosquitoes and ticks, and she'll be giving you an update on this season so far. Live in Richmond, Jackie Pascal, NBC5 News.